And we're speaking with Vivian Spitz, um, one of the pioneers of our profession, who now makes her home in Littleton, Colorado. And um, Vivian, why don't you tell us a little bit what attracted you to reporting, how you got into it, and uh, some of your training and schooling that you had uh, to become a reporter. I grew up in a small town in uh, northern Illinois, Woodstock, population 6,000. Uh, I really did not know anything about reporting or what a reporter was, but in my high school classes, and I took a commercial course in high school because my mother did not have the money nor did I have the ability to travel uh, to another city where I could attend a four-year college. But uh, I had a high school shorthand teacher named Ellis Archer who made me his alter ego. He always wanted to be a court reporter and described it to me. Uh, I, he made a point of getting my speed in high school up to 140 words a minute by the time I graduated because I was going to go into Chicago to get a secretarial job um, at that time, and I did not know anything about the court reporting course at Gregg College. I knew I was going to Gregg College for three months. So uh, while the other high school students were writing or graduating at 80 to 100 words a minute, I did get to 140. What I did not know was that the uh, secretarial course at Gregg College ended at 140, and the court reporting course started at 140. So I, when I went in, I had three months worth of money. I took the train from Woodstock every morning at uh, 7.30 a.m. and rode an hour and a half into Chicago, uh, got off at Union Station, walked two blocks, took a bus to Michigan Avenue, walked two blocks to number six Michigan Avenue to Greg College uh, to I think it was the sixth floor and I had to be in the classroom at 9 a.m. Uh, and the same every single night. Uh, I went into the court reporting course at 140 words a minute and by the time my three months of money uh, ran out, I was writing well into 160 words a minute. So the the problem was my mother uh, had to find the extra money and she owned a wheat farm in Kansas and she took out a, um, a little mortgage on that to keep me in Greg College uh, to finish this court reporting course, which was a two-year course. Uh, <clears throat> because of the expense, I knew that I really wanted to get through that course fast. I, I passed my 200 test in 13 months instead of two years. And uh, that's how I, I became a court reporter. I had three job offers, one in Chicago, uh, one in uh, um, South Dakota, and one in Detroit. Um, tell us which one you accepted and why, and give us a little feel for uh, your very first job and a uh, typical day in the life of uh, during your early career. Uh, my very, uh, the job that I took was in Detroit with a freelance reporting agency, and um, I worked for the G.L. McGuire agency there. Uh, doing deposition work, uh, cutting my teeth uh, in the uh, in the Detroit uh, courtrooms, in district court, and especially working the prosecutor's contract. Uh, they had a contract in that office where in Detroit, every single incident, from an automobile accident to the worst murder. Uh, had to be covered during the night, if it happened during the night, by a court reporter. We had that contract, so I spent uh, three nights a week on call uh, and would have to get out of bed up Woodward Avenue in a huge, marvelous boarding house and um, get to 
the police headquarters at 3.30 in the morning to take a statement, the prosecutor there, of a murder, um, someone accused of a murder or whatever it was. Uh, one night, I knew it was a terribly uh, serious situation and it was 2.30 in the morning Saturday night and I could not get a cab so I stood out in front of my lovely large boarding house on Woodward Avenue and I literally halted a cab with a passenger in it, told him I had to get to police headquarters right away. Uh, please would the, the other man be willing to let me ride with him downtown and we did. I went to um, the Teller Hotel, they dropped me off, so then I called over to headquarters and I told the detectives that I was at the Teller Hotel. I could not get any, uh, could not get all the way over there. They had always wanted to, because of my age, and I was 19, pick me up at my home in the middle of the night. And I had resisted this, but that night I stood out on the steps of the Teller Hotel waiting for that forest green a uh, detective's car, unmarked, to come around the corner and, and, and pick me up. While I was waiting, by that time, three in the morning, uh, around the corner came a forest green detective's car, a forest green car, I beg your pardon, Chevrolet, which was the car they drove, and I rushed down the steps, opened the door, and jumped in the car. And as soon as I was in the car, I noticed this was winter time, I had a coat on, I noticed that there were no gold numbers on the dashboard. And I looked at the driver, who was a huge hulk of a man, smelling of alcohol with a huge scar across his face. So I knew I was in the wrong car, and uh, he started away. I just merely said to him, uh, they are expecting me at, head, at police headquarters right away, so please get me there as fast as you can. And he said, uh, why was there a stabbing in the hotel? And I really knew I was in the wrong car. Uh, we went around a circle and I was watching for the first stoplight that I could uh, use to get out of that car. And he had to stop at a stoplight. Uh, I jumped on the door handle and out, got halfway out of the car when he grabbed the left sleeve of my coat, which was then off of my arm, saying, where do you think you're going, babe? And I pulled my coat hard enough to half pull the sleeve out and I took my coat and I ran all the way back to the Teller Hotel. Teller Hotel, I think it was, or Teller, two blocks breathless with my heart pounding and and uh, so I went back on the steps and uh, I was watching for the forest green Chevrolet detective's car to come around the corner the same co around the corner came the detective's car and I went down and opened the door carefully and looked at the gold letters on the dashboard and got in that all that occurred all within the first two months of my first job